One of our more light-hearted questions came this week. Where does belly button fluff come from? Believe it or not, research into this question actually won an Australian researcher the Ig Nobel Prize in 2002. Ig Nobel Awards are for research that first makes you laugh and then makes you think. The correct phrase, by the way, is navel fluff, or in the scientific literature, BBL, for belly button lint. What the researchers found was that navel fluff is most common in middle-aged men who have recently put on a bit of weight. It's much more prevalent in men than in women. The middle-aged bit is important because it is around your late 30s, early 40s that as a man you develop stomach hair. These hairs act in two ways. First, they scrape the inside of your clothes, collecting cotton fibers from your shirt. Second, they act a little like a traditional fish trap, guiding the lint in towards your belly button from which it is unable to escape against the direction of the hairs. So over time, a little ball of cotton from your clothes and dead skin cells collects in your navel. The research also unearthed that new clothes result in more fluff than old clothes, presumably because of all the loose fibers in your worn old t-shirt have already been brushed out. They also found that shaving your navel stopped the accumulation of fluff. One particularly dedicated researcher collected fluff from his navel every day for 500 days. All of that fluff didn't even add up to one gram. He averaged just 1.86 milligrams a day. So this is hardly a pressing human problem. Incidentally, a separate study looking at the biodiversity of our belly buttons found an astonishing 2,368 different species of bacteria across the navels of 60 volunteers, although more than half the bacteria living in our belly buttons came from just eight species. At which point, I think we can all agree that that is more than enough navel-gazing for one. Day.